When I was 10 years old, my mom committed suicide. She overdosed. It was Christmas Day. It was hard enough that John Lauderhouse's parents had been separated. Now his mom was gone forever. Although John wasn't close to his mother, he was grief-stricken. I remember the only time that I cried, was really upset, was actually when I, when I saw her in the casket. And I couldn't handle it. Like, uh, I just knew that was it. I would never have a chance to um, get to know my mom. John and his dad moved to Houston, Texas and made a fresh start. For a while, it was just the two of them until his dad met a woman. It was just me and my dad for the longest time. We would go and do like all kinds of cool little things. Like on Sundays, we would go to like jazz festivals and blues festivals and stuff in Houston. And we just hang out and we had so much fun. But then all of a sudden, when he got married, it just, everything changed. Like I felt that I wasn't important anymore, that my new stepmom was the new focus and that's all he cared about. I wanted to be loved. I wanted, you know, I wanted that family. So at 14, John started acting up to get attention. He got into fights with classmates and then he joined a gang. Basically I was using them, and as, you know, as, a, as bodyguards and they were probably using me in the same we broke into houses. We were making probably one of the biggest drug runs in Houston. Before long, John was using the drugs they were selling. It seemed cool at the time, but I was on meth, on cocaine. I'm on ecstasy or rolling, and I'm on acid all at the same time. Oh, and I was drinking. I didn't care what I was going to die or live. I was just living for the day. I knew that I had to do something, but I didn't know what I was doing. I knew that I was trying to escape from something. John's grandfather also knew he needed to get away and paid for him to attend military school in South Carolina. While it got John away from the gangs, it didn't keep him from using drugs to numb his pain. Often, he thought of his mother's suicide. I started realizing how selfish she was, and I started getting mad. I started feeling maybe I should do the same. I was angry. For some reason, like I would think about that, and I would always have that in the back of my mind. Why would God take my mom away and then put me in a life where I'm at now? I was like, I don't want to believe in a God like that. But then he met a girl who was a Christian. There was something different about her, so he asked her about her faith. In my mind and in my heart and in my soul, I was like, Lord, I really want to accept you. And that's when, you know, I had made the decision to follow. John found a church, but something happened there that drastically shook his faith. A pastor that befriended John took his own life. I felt like, you know, it was my fault, like I wasn't nice enough to him. I felt like there was something I should have done. So I blamed myself for a lot. John left the church. He started falling back into his old habits, including drugs, with near fatal results. There was a one time that I almost overdosed and I was really close to dying. And I remember crying out, looking up, God, please don't let me go. I'll do anything, just don't let me go, please. And um, he just pulled me, he pulled me up, and, you know, like, and I kind of snapped out of it and caught my breath just without even a thought. I quit. He gave me the power to be able to, to, to just quit drugs um, completely. Then John met a surfer at the beach who invited him to church. He decided to give it another try. There's just no turning back now. I really know it, and it's not a guessing. It's not like, you know, is God really real? Like, yes, he is real. Like, he's completely, completely real. John came to terms with his mother's death and has grown in his relationship with Jesus. He leads a Bible study at the beach for surfers, works as a full-time photographer, and he married. I'm completely restored from the past. I'm not ashamed of it anymore um, because God has made me who I am. And I did the things that I did. And there's no turning back, you know? We can only learn from him and just move forward. But he still loves me. And he still gives me hope. And he still just, he puts his all in me and never lets me go.